I'm Jason Blum for Fandango Movie Clips, and here are some things to know before you go see The Darkness. The Darkness is about a family, a mom and dad, Kevin Bacon and Rada Mitchell. They have two kids, they go on vacation, and on vacation, the son discovers this ancient ruin and takes some of the things back to the house. And as a result of doing that, terrible things begin to happen. Every time you go to a museum, to an outdoor exhibit or anything, and there's a sign that says, do not touch, do not move. And when you're a kid, when you see do not touch, all you want to do is touch. So I thought what inspired me to make this movie is this, this young boy finally does, I think, what most young boys want to do when they're told not to touch something. Not only does he touch things, he takes them, and the result is very bad. This movie all started with a coffee I had with Kevin Bacon five or six years ago. I talked a lot to him about Ethan's work in Sinister and Ethan's work in The Purge, and I thought we could do something similar with him. And I sent him a bunch of scripts, and he kept saying no until he finally read The Darkness and really, really connected with the part of this particular father and what this father would do in this terrible situation. And I guess the other piece to the movie that made it happen for me is I've always been a huge fan of Greg McLean. I love Wolf Creek. Greg is a real, is what's known as an actor's director. He's a really very actor-friendly director. Our movies are inexpensive. We don't have a lot of special effects, so most of the directors that we work with are very actor-focused. There's a theory, which I actually think is pretty true, which is that the set of a horror movie is a lot more fun than the set of a comedy. People who have not made scary movies think that horror skits are very scary. And in fact, there are young kids, and there are teachers, and there is catering, and there's peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. As much as I'd love to tell you that there were real ghosts on the set, Sadly, there were not, but there are in the movie. Our company's model is low budget, and it's low budget very specifically because if you bring budgets down of movies, you can try new things and different things. And The Darkness fits into exactly that category. The Darkness relies a lot on drama. And if you notice, the more expensive scary movies rely on special effects and big scares. And our movies don't rely on that. They really rely on drawing you into the storytelling by the drama and the acting on the screen. And then we do a kind of simple scare. And my feeling is those scares are always much scarier than a big scare with special effects. So The Darkness is really a perfect Blumhouse movie. My favorite scene in the darkness is one of the grossest things I could ever imagine, which I'm not gonna reveal here, but I will tell you it involves vomit, and it's, it's unique, and it's one of the grossest things I've ever seen, and it was one of my favorite scenes in the darkness. If you liked Insidious, or Sinister, or Paranormal Activity, or The Purge, you're gonna like the darkness. Besides the fact that we produced all those movies, all those movies have one thing in common, which is they have great dramatic stories. And what better thing is there to do on Friday the 13th than go out to see a scary movie?